Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today we're going over a game called This Is The President. This Is The President was developed by Super Pack, it was published by THQ Nordic, and it was released onto the PC on December 6, 2021 with MSRP of $14.99. Alright, why don't we get into it? As always, exact release date, pricing, and platforms may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Now this is a pretty unique game, it's a politics sim, but it's more focusing on the narrative side than the actual runnings of a government. Why don't we get started? Start a new game. It's a pretty long intro, I'll just let it play out. Hey, Bob. How much time do I have left? Sir, I was ordered not to speak to you. Hmm. Son, <clears throat> I'm not asking you to die in a gunfight. I just want to know how much time I have left. <sighs> ten minutes. <laughs> I'll never finish all this in ten minutes. Think you could help? Is it fair that your fellows are in the cafeteria right now devouring your meatballs while you're stuck here staring at me? <laughs> mm. You were ordered not to talk to me, but they didn't say anything about lobster, right? <clears throat> now, sit yourself down right there. You can eat in silence. Otherwise, I'll just have to throw half of it out. But if anyone found out, I'd be fired. Don't worry. I don't give up, my friends. Unlike some people. Your name is Bob, I gather. I haven't seen you here before. You a rookie. I didn't know they were taking 16-year-olds as guards. I'm 20. Ah, 20. Sorry. Mysterious age, isn't it? You can't legally buy yourself a beer after you've had a tough shift. But you can elect the president. I, I don't drink, sir. Half my family are drunks. I know how dangerous it is. Oh, alcohol is dangerous. But isn't the right to vote even more dangerous? If you were drinking like a fool, you'd only be harming yourself. But if you're voting like a fool, you're putting the entire nation at risk. I'm not voting like a fool. I voted for a man who would send all the shameless, corrupt officials to jail. Hmm. Well, one of those... Shameless, corrupt officials is now kindly treating you to lobster. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? <clears throat> sir, sir, I, I... I didn't know, sir. I, I don't have anything against you personally, sir. I'm, I, I'm just glad the new president will finally fix the Constitution, that's all. You do know that the president can't change the Constitution, right? Well, why can't he? He's president. President, yes. Not king. Presidents can sign decrees and all that. Only Congress can propose and pass amendments. If you don't believe me, just Google it. Huh. Can't the president do whatever he wants? Why do we need presidents at all, then? Aunt, Aunt Ruta explained everything to me. She's watching this guy. She... Oh. Huh. If it's any consolation, son, you and your Aunt Ruth... Weren't the only people fooled by our new president. I myself once trusted him. And look where it got me. This is a man who has always abused the trust of his friends, and now he has abused the trust of millions of Americans, people just like you. So I really did vote like a fool, sir. There's no mistake that cannot be corrected, Bob. Not in this country. We'll fix it, you and me, together. I can stop him. I know his weak points. I just need to get out of here as quickly as possible. Will you help me? You're not planning an escape, <laughs> are you, sir? No, 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 no. What are you saying? I have a great many friends who will help me walk right out through the front door, all perfectly legal. It's just that I'm a little cut off from the world right now, you see. It. But if you could just bring me a phone, I could set everything in place from right here in this cell. My phone? Not yours, of course. We wouldn't want to risk that. Any other one. Won't I get fired for this? Bob, when they find out that you helped me, you'll get an award. 
You're an observant guy. You can see what's going on. This is a matter of national security. Sir, I... Uh, he, he might not be an honest man, but he's still the president, right? The most powerful man in the world. Isn't that what they say? Isn't it just too dangerous to go against him? Now don't you trouble yourself about that, Bob. My ten minutes are up. The president has a much longer term waiting for him. Man, screw all politicians. They're all bad. Alright, so we got Antonio Estama, Vice President. My friends, today we have shown the American dream is still alive. I'm the son of immigrants who rose to become Vice President. I'm living proof. I've shown that the soulless corporations and Washington crooks don't get to decide things. The people of the United States have spoken. I'm proud of you, America, and I'm proud of our new commander-in-chief who will give everything he's got for the good of America. <laughs> Let me introduce Mr. President-elect. So, you're playing as the president, and you're actually a really bad and scummy guy, so that kind of threw me off. My fellow Americans, This victory is your victory. <laughs> the authorities have artificially divided our country along party lines. But my victory proves that we are we the we the people are all on the same side. The time has come to take back our country. I'm offering rehab. In my four years, I will achieve more than other presents have achieved in eight. Okay, so you have to do, um, you have to do these things. This one's pretty easy. Um, donate one million to charity. Uh, you actually need money, so I'm gonna save that for this one. And there you go, yeah. Like to thank the entire campaign staff. Vice President. Thank the First Lady. God bless the United States of America! <laughs> Alright. So, you do have to pick the right words and stuff. Um, your approval rating will go up or down. Okay, so this guy actually believes in what he's doing, I think, at least from what I gathered. I haven't beaten the game yet. That's right, Tony. Their days are numbered. Three months, three months, we'll have a revenge.
Okay, so if you were playing the game and you saw that, you're like, Oh, I must be a good guy, right? Like, I said all this stuff. I must be in the office to change the world for a better place. And then... <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I have to take care of the ordinary people. <coughs> and then your wife is like, I'm married to a crusader against the establishment. At this rate, you'll even have me believing your series. Give it a rest, there aren't any journals here or even Tony. So you're like, hmm, something else is going on. <laughs> okay, so I'm skipping through it, but basically, uh, you committed a crime or a lot of crimes. I don't know what it is exactly, they don't mention it at first. But your main goal is to pass an amendment which makes it uh, illegal to jail a president for crimes he did before he was elected into office um, because you did something really bad <laughs> so you're re that's it's a heist movie it's basically a heist movie uh, I, I'm loving the vibes of this game if you're expecting a more hands-on political sim you're not gonna get that you're I mean I mean why don't we just continue on though I mean, I mean it's perfect So here it is. It's laying out the heist. So we're getting Amendment 28, lifelong immunity in the Constitution. Okay, so our first goal is to pay a lobbyist seven million dollars and he will hook us up with key members in congress so that's the first goal so your first goal is to get seven million to afford this guy you have a couple of months so yeah he won't promote it but he'll introduce us to the people who can make it happen now the next step is to gain two-thirds of Congress's support. Okay, so after that, we need to make sure that a minimum of 38 states will pass the amendment. <coughs> so two-thirds of Congress, 38 states. And then we need the Supreme Court to solidify that amendment and to do that we need to remove a justice and put one of our own justices in okay, and after that we need a 90% approval rating so again this is a heist movie just think of it as pulling off the perfect heist except let's you know, instead of for stealing something, you're making sure you don't go to jail. <laughs> okay. So that's the whole premise of the game. I like how it sets it out. There's a little bit of a plot twist where it, you think you're a good guy, turns out you're a really scummy guy. Here it is, Mr. President, I am ready to introduce your amendment to a circle of influential congressmen for a modest sum of $7 million. Why is the price so low? I usually ask tens of millions of dollars for my services, even when it comes to a minor change in labor laws. Blah, 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 blah. So we have a deadline, October 2021. He is also telling us to save money for additional things. Okay. This is why I didn't say I would donate a million to charity because then you're cutting that off. Actually, I don't know if the other options are worse, you know? 
Okay. So, this will list your goals. Okay. And then we have a checklist. We have to do these things. That's the- those are the promises I made during the speech. Okay. So these are things I need to meet conditions for before it'll happen. And then here we have the order of tasks. Okay, I like this one. So I'm gonna declassify the Area 51 documents. I think it's funny. <laughs> I wanna know if they're UFOs. I need to know the truth. Yeah, I just want to find out the truth behind UFOs. You know what they say, the truth is out there. And then uh, Ellie was saying, Oh, it's perfect because they'll distract all the journalists from the fact that we're trying to pass an amendment to make sure we don't go to jail. And then it introduces the members of your hotshot team. It's it's literally a heist movie, fellas. We got Clint Glover. Leave the papers to me, Mr. President-elect. I'll have it covered. He's a hotshot lawyer. People chasing us. So the dude that used to in the very beginning in the jail cell eating lobsters, he used to be your partner, and then you just ditched him when you got elected as president. I don't know the details yet. Here it is, another member of your heist team, Alvaro Guardado. Guardado? I don't know. Anyways, if you look here, they have diamonds. Basically, as the narrative progresses. Uh, you can have them do certain things, and certain things will add a stress marker on their card, and when they hit too much, they can't really work. There are ways to make the stress go down, usually like, oh, give them a vacation, but it's gonna cost you $10,000, and it'll remove a stress star. And if you don't pick the right option, you don't get the optimal outcome, so... pretty interesting. I really, really like this because I played other political sims like Democracy 4 and people who like this stuff really like those games. For me, it wasn't really engaging. This is way more engaging. This is like more light on that stuff but has a solid narrative and a cast of characters and it, yeah, again, it's a heist movie. <laughs> We got a- we got a- we got a hacker, dude! It's a heist movie, man! Look at him! Okay, I picked this one before. I don't think the hacker gets anything important, and we find out who they are. It's people in the White House. Again, I think it's that dude that you saw in jail. He's coming after you. Dude, it's, it's a- it's a heist movie. This would actually make a, a good film, I feel like. If they had the right cast. Right writer, right director. <laughs> this would make an excellent storyline. Okay. Here's my team of people.
Yeah, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> look at this. This guy stabs me in the back. Look at him. Look at- look at this guy. Remember what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to deny it. I'm not committing to getting rid of my money, and I'm responding with what they want to hear. <laughs> I'm gonna deny... I don't think I should engage with them. This guy is like his uh, crony, I think. Yes, focus on America. I don't remember- I picked this and there was something bad that happened, but we turned it around. I wonder what happens if I pick this one. There's a leak somewhere in your administration before you even started. Okay. So we have another person, Alta Randor, communications director. What are these idiots talking about? So now they're trying to spin that leak into saying that you're selling military secrets to Russia. <laughs> yeah, the Chinese will pay more. And then she already has a plan. So now what they're doing is they're gonna start a even more outrageous rumor that they can prove as being false. So she makes this analogy of like, Oh, I scratched a pillar, but I went to the guard and said I smashed it into all the cars. And then when the guard goes to check, he sees that it, that it didn't happen and he doesn't even check the pillar. I think I picked this one. The KGB recruited my parents. <coughs> so yeah, they're just children. They can disprove that easily. 
I wanted to pick this. The Russian put an implant in my brain so they can control me re remotely. Uh, we can get this one. Oh, this one they trick you with. Hold up. That was a good one. Okay. So, how they get you, the writing is so good. So, you have a plan to say that, oh, the machines in Florida were hacked. The journalist asks you about a question, but he doesn't mention the state. And one of the answers you can give is to re reply about Florida. And they're like, mm, why would you mention Florida specifically? So, this, I, I like the writing. You have to pick carefully. You have to think like a dirty politician. <laughs> okay. This one. Has been on the coordinates of all secret. I'm interested in what happens when you pick the other options. Some of them you just can't pick, but you do get like a humorous conversation out of it. Okay. So now we have a philanthropist. Basically, this is a way to kind of move around money. Okay, we're gonna draft the amendment. And you have to pick a suitable person, and, but they won't be available. And that uh, one means that they'll get one stress. We're gonna use Clint, because he's a lawyer and he knows what he's doing. Okay, so we need someone to make PR decisions, and I was like, this person would do a good job. That's literally her job. And then, I couldn't pick Alvaro, but if you pick Ali, what he does is he uses an AI to f write the, uh, the draft, which is hilarious. Okay, after we're done, we go to the next month. You can see our approval rating going up. Okay. Clint finished writing. We got everyone selected. We got Antonio here. Yeah, see, he fed, he, yeah, he fed text of orders into a neural network and then he got one that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Will life be, will life in America be better now that Russia controls the election? Screw you, Joe. Mm hmm blah blah blah. can lobby stuff uh, to make the chance of it passing go up, but it costs money obviously. We have the amendment ready. Okay. They have a secret meeting, but they invited me so they wouldn't blow their cover. Yeah, fool me, set me up at the press conference.
Mr. The guy we saw in the beginning. So now they're like, how would I fix this? And this guy's saying, I would leak stuff on my own on purpose. And then when the leaks come out, you can figure out who did it. If you leak it to, like, if you say, I'm gonna say to this person, I'm gonna do this. And then another person, I'm gonna do this. And another person to do this like they can't predict what you're gonna do and you'll be also uh, you'll be able to tell who's leaking what I hope you're not lying this time. Okay. I don't trust, never trust the politician. Okay, so this guy did some searching and he got some evidence. I don't know what the consequences of this are. Like, if the vaccine is doesn't work, but you promoted it for money, is there gonna be some consequences, or do you reject it, but then you lose out on the money? Uh, I mean, if I was a politician, I would like take the money, you know. So you can sell this stuff for money, because again, you need seven hundred uh, seven million dollars. But I'm gonna I wanna keep it because I feel like it's valuable. Okay. So these are people in the electoral college, and. You know, they're being bought uh, to, to vote for the president. So we gotta figure out a way to get to this guy. Uh, so if you do this, again, he gains stress. This one won't do anything. I did this one before, nothing happens. So why don't we try this one? I guess that's a, that's a different outcome. Mm, I just didn't do anything either, so I'm gonna pick this one this time and see what happens. Oh yeah, if you got too close to him, I think the opponents say that you're bullying this guy, so... No matter what happens, there's like good and bad things that happen, I feel like.
Spread a rumor, yeah. see their stress levels went up. Yes, redecorate. Yes, get professional photos. See, if you soundproof his office, he loses stress. But it costs money, so... We'll do this, and then we'll call it quits there. I think it, it, this will, this is enough to give you guys an idea of what the game is like. Alright, so if you remember we started Rumors, and now we're gonna squash him. I feel great! Thanks for asking! Are you really planning to declassify our military secrets and share them with the Russians? So you're supposed to not get baited by the journalists and just stay calm and refute things. They're like, well, if you say it's a lie, how do you comment on the fact that Russia recruited your parents? <laughs> and then you're like, no. In the 40s, my parents are babies. It couldn't have happened. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, please don't forget to check your facts before asking questions. I'm looking at you, Joe. This guy's more tricky. Do you know anything about the reports that the election day voting machines were hacked? Uh, if you say Florida, he's like, why do you say Florida? I didn't mention it. So you're gonna be like, well, let me see what happens if I pick this. It's troubling, my headquarters and device. Based administration are starting these reports of hacking. Oh, so it doesn't say anything. I guess that was the right choice. I think I'm supposed to get angry. They said show some some emotion. Let's see. what happens. I didn't fall for... Joe was clearly trying to catch you up, but you handled that perfectly. Yeah, see? If you pick Florida, you're slipping. I did show some emotion. Yeah, you're supposed to end it early. Okay, let me see if I did better. Yeah, I think I did better that, that that time. My approval rating went up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, this one? I was like, this sounds kind of mean. I mean, this guy just has a drug problem, this guy just did fraud, and this guy did tax evasion. Would you like me to delay the parting procedure? Oh uh, no. Just let him out, it's okay. Yes. Nude. I'd be like, heck no. Okay, see, like, if I had a wife, and she's doing her own thing. I'm like, okay, whatever. She's her own person. But she asked me, Hey, can I pose nude? I'm like, no. <laughs> what do you mean? If she asked me, I'm going to give her my honest opinion. I'm like, no, thank you. Okay. Why don't we call it there? I can keep going. I Yeah, I'm having fun with this game. Uh, it's a heist movie. It's a heist movie, that's what it is. With the disguise as a political sim. 
Anyways, the game is This is the President, developed by Super Pack, published by THQ Nordic. And it's out now for the PC with the MSRP of $14.99. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. As always, I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do read all the comments. Just keep in mind I'm one person doing everything and uh, I, I try my best to get back to everyone or make content people want to see but um, I, I run out of time very quickly. Anyways, I'm restructuring my pipeline so I can make stuff more efficiently and that's gonna be it. Hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there and I will catch you guys next time. USA! USA! <laughs>